Good morning children. Welcome back to my English class. Today we will learn a wonderful poem from your English literature How the Little Kite Learned to Fly. So kindly open your literature textbooks to page number 25. This poem How the Little Kite Learned to Fly is written by Catherine Pyle. The poet of this poem is Catherine Pyle. Okay, before switching on to the poem, let me tell you the summary of this poem. Okay? This poem, How the Little Kite Learned to Fly, gives us a strong message. It tells us how it takes immense courage to try out new things. Okay? The poem expresses the fearful nature of a little kite who wanted to fly high up in the sky. But initially the little kite was afraid to fly high and it was highly pessimistic also. But later on with the motivating words of the big kite he gathered courage and learned to fly slowly. Okay, the little kite felt happy, proud and excited as he was the companion of the big kite that flew in the sky. So now the little kite flew high in the sky and found birds and clouds as his companions in the sky. So therefore one must face the challenges in life by being brave, self-confident and bold children. Okay. So the brave little kite is about courage over here. The poem describes how courage can help you to overcome your fears. So in this poem there are two kites. Okay. One is the big kite and the other one is your little kite. So the small kite or the little kite was afraid and big kite gives courage. Is that clear? Now what is the central idea of this poem? So we should always have the courage to go into the unknown and try things that we are afraid to. Okay. So never get afraid and say that I cannot do, I will not do. No children. You must always go into the unknown things and you should try things that you are afraid. It takes courage to try and it takes even more courage to do it also. So it talks about courage and overcoming our fears. The poem shows us that beyond hardships and the change, which is very new to us, lies a very big, a very huge world of happiness and peace. So therefore, the poet is trying to conquer our fears. Beyond this, saying that there is a new world of great possibilities. So children, never say that you are afraid and you will not go. No children. So in this poem, we are going to learn. Okay. We are going to learn how to be courageous like the little kite. Is that clear? So let us begin the poem stanza wise. I never can do it, the little kite said. As he looked at the others high over his head. So here the small kite is learning to fly. The poem inspires us to rise, to take challenges and to be courageous. So the small kite is telling that, I can't do it. He says that I cannot go high up in the sky. As he looked at others high over his head, the small kite looked up. There were so many kites, other kites over his head. I know I should fall if I try to fly. Try, said the big kite, only try. The small kite said, I know I should fall if I try to fly. Then what did the big kite say? The big kite said, try, only try. Or I fear you never will learn at all. The big kite is telling the small kite to try or else you will never learn at all. 
but the little kite said i am afraid i'll fall the small kite is saying that it may fall down the big kite nodded ah well goodbye then the big kite said okay then no need okay okay well goodbye i'm going and what did the big kite do the big kite said i'm off and he rose towards the tranquil sky the big kite said okay and it went off up in the sky he rose towards the tranquil sky what do you mean by the word tranquil means quiet the calm and quiet sky the big sky just rose high up into the sky and then what happened then the little kite's paper stayed at the side the small kite's paper was there it stayed stayed means what it moved it moved at the side and trembling he shook himself free for light trembling means what to shake or to be frightened first whirling and frightened then braver grown at the first time it was whirling whirling means what moving quickly round and round see children when you try to fly kites how do you fly do you just go directly up in the sky no right from the ground floor slowly little by little you start flying up the kites so in initially what happens to the kite the kite will first whirl whirl in the sense move quickly round and round and after that slowly by slowly gradually steadily the kite slowly goes up into the sky here also the small kite it was trembling and shook himself free for flight and first it was moving round quickly round and round it was frightened and then little by little the small kite grew braver and up and up he rose through the air alone then the small kite alone went high up into the sky it was all alone till the big kite looking down could see the little one rising steadily so till the big kite who was high up in the sky the big kite was looking down then the little kite was going rising steadily steadily means what to go gradually that is calm and in a controlled way slowly the small kite was going high up into the sky see now the small kite went up into the sky then how the little kite thrilled with pride see how the kite was happy what do you mean by the word thrill thrill means extremely happy pride means what feeling of pleasure and satisfaction so now the little kite was extremely happy with the pleasure of happiness with satisfaction it went up and as he sailed see little by little it started moving high up into the sky there after going the little one was thrilled with pride so where did it go it went high up into the sky and you can see even the clouds also over here the little kite started moving high up into the sky with pride as he sailed with the big kite side by side see the small kite is also along with the big kite they both are side by side while far below he could see the ground and what could he see the small boys like small pots moving round like small spots moving round see both of them are high up in the sky they rested high in the quiet air and only the birds in the clouds were there see the both the kites the small kite and the big kite they both were high up in the sky side by side and they rested high in the quiet air see only the birds and the clouds were there what were there in the sky only the birds were there high up in the sky see can you see the birds and the clouds over there the birds only the birds and the clouds were there 
and how happy I am. The little, the little kite cried. And all this is just because I was brave and I tried. The little kai, kite is saying that now it is very happy. Why is it happy? Because it was brave and tried. So always children you have to try. Whenever you try you will definitely be successful in your life. So always be brave, courageous and always try.